All right, bro. So this video is about six nine equals agent provocateur. Now, see, this whole video has come to the surface because the things that he been, he's been displaying in hip hop is to me agent behavior. So first of all, he comes on the scene, you feel me, and automatically starts a a tirade against Los Angeles rappers, you feel me. Niggas thought it was gonna be some West Coast, East Coast beef, you know, you feel me? And was constantly pushing buttons, playing cat, cat and mouse games, being disrespectful to a lot of things, and just trying to cause an uproar, you feel me? Intentions are still not solved between individuals which he have stirred up. I can go into detail. Alshon Martin and Slim 400, you feel me? That shit can result into something, potentially. And knowing that, it's like, it's all in defense of this dude. He leaves town. Had OG Mexican gangbangers and a bunch of blood gangbangers looking for and Crips, all playing cat and mouse trying to find him. Tearing up clubs, tearing up hotels, events canceled. Just trying to stir things up. For what reason? Messing with his own money, basically. He lost deals behind earphones behind this, right? So obviously, any smart person would understand if you were in this for the business, then there would be no reason for you to throw away, you know, endorsements like that because of the beefs that you in. So obviously, it can't be about the money. It can't be. But if it's something to prove, then what is there to prove when we have pictures of this individual looking like a real prep around 15, 16 years old? Y'all telling me 22, so that's seven years ago. So when did this hardcore bang and stuff come from? Where did it come from? When did it start? So after that, beefing with the dude in his hometown, Brooklyn, Casanova, and we see his own CEO, as they say, you know, alle allegations, you know, they say he was on video doing something. He was arrested in unrelated charges. Nigga, you busting a gun in New York City on video? New York natives, tell me how much that carries, bro. Tell me how much that carries. Because from what I know, I think your first gun offense is six years in New York City. They're strict on gun laws down there. So to be on video shooting outside the Barclay Center, supposed to be caught on camera and be able to get away with it, that should make you think, right? That really should make you think. Right back out here, Treyway, Treyway, Treyway. It don't make sense to me. So after that, beef with Casanova. They become friends. Not really. But it dies down. Somebody bowed out, basically. Somebody bowed out. Not to mention, bro, I don't want to get too much in the race aspect, but this is where it's headed, basically. It has to head that way because this is a Latino, a Hispanic, in which is coming into what was created, right? Let me let me ask you, New York individual, something. I've done a video on this before. All of the people from New York City, y'all tell me that Bloods was created, you feel me? Y'all OG Mac or whatever, that shit was created because those Latin kings down there was bullying y'all, basically. And y'all had no outlet to, you know, um, stand on Rikers. Like, y'all couldn't hold a pod or something like that along those lines. And the Bloods was formed as like a black thing, you feel me, for y'all to fight back against them so y'all finally get deep in Rikers y'all become the biggest thing overwhelmingly in Rikers Island and then y'all start letting the individuals in who it was started to go against in reaction to am I right am I right you feel me so as time goes on man Letting these individuals be the spearhead or the spokesperson for your crew. Treyway, Treyway. 
Takashi69. Having a former background as being an associate to a crypt member. Eh, you know, hey, it's New York City. You know, we don't take that shit that seriously. You know, they don't. But to now see that this individual has sparked up a beef in Chicago, man. It's just, it's just not making sense to me. For Keith to go to New York City, somebody shooting at his hotel room, right? In New York City, in Manhattan, bro. Is this shit not serious, bro? Dude, what what the fuck is in ain't NYP the deepest police station of like of all cities, bro? Ain't it like over eighty thousand police in New York City alone, bro? Los Angeles dealing with a low number of police, you feel me? Compared to New York City. Other cities are dealing with small percentage of police. Y'all have cameras everywhere in New York City. Ain't New York City where 9-11 happened, bro? Patriot Act, you feel me? Where there's all this super surveillance. And we supposed to just think that these niggas is just letting off shots and getting away with it, bro. That's what they want us to think, apparently. So I'm seeing it as Asian shit. After the gunshots let off in, you know, Keith's Hotel, not in, but at the building, basically. Niggas just shooting at buildings. So after that, he starts trolling. As all of this beef is going on, as he's stirring up beef, he gets on the IG, you feel me? He gets all on Instagram, FaceTimes, enemies of individuals or former associates of, of popular individuals who happen to be rappers or just things like that. Stirring shit up. It's the craziest shit ever, man. The whole Cuban doll situation. That's why I call Cuban doll is a dummy, bro. Cuban doll is a dummy. Dumb female. For her, look, look, man, look. Y'all know I done my video on Cuban doll, right? It's not to bash the woman. Well, kind of it is. It is to bash. <laughs> But the thing about it is, is that you put yourself in those situations, you know, and to understand that Keith and them are dealing with the loss of, you know, their cousin Fredo, the loss of their other cousin blood money being killed. You feel me? And you over here taunting them. Look, look he decides to be for Lil Reese after the feds. Capture over a hundred guns in a gun raid in Chicago. Niggas, is, you know what I'm saying? They it's all type of guns going on, so they trying to lay low. And out of nowhere, six nine wants to start a beef. Gets Cuban doll involved. She, you saw her running in the video where he was calling out Keith, saying "fuck Keith, fuck GBE," and all of that. So, obviously, she doesn't want a part to be in none of that. But obviously. She's riding with them. They tr they signed her to Treyway, ENT. So sh now she's a part of that. That's dumb. You feel me? And she has a video in which she's saying that she wants no part of the beef and she wants it to end. Your name is Cuban the Savage. In your songs, you rap about guns and how niggas ain't going to try you and this and that. What's the point? What's the point? That's what I always say, bro. Shit is a facade. Females need to stay in their fucking lane when it comes to this hip-hop shit. If you're talking that gangster shit. Just look, trying to look cute in songs and shit. Not knowing what a bullet will do to your little skinny ass arm. You feel me? Your little pretty, flabby girl arm, bro. It's taking that whole fucking arm off. It's not a pretty thing. Beef is not pretty. All women should be encouraged in peace. Not trying to act hard. You feel me? So... To see now that it's escalated. Shit is escalated. In the Chicago beef, this nigga has been FaceTiming Rico Reckless, who is beefing with FBG Duck, saying he's smoking brick, which is FBD, FBG's Duck. FBG Duck's brother who got killed in Chicago last year. And Tuka, you know, that all these rappers are following from what Keith has said, you feel me? And 6 9 was on there laughing. Now, mind you, FBG Duck was the same individual who said... 6 9 was good in Chicago, a couple, like yesterday. Now he eating his words. Nigga, you talking, he, you saying, damn, I feel like Goofy. He just put a post up about it. But nigga, it's no use, you, you should feel like a Goofy. Nigga, you are a Goofy. You 
you talking to it, you trying to reason with a nigga with rainbow colored hair, has pedal allegations, is trolling, known for trolling. What the fuck would make you think he wouldn't be on some clown shit, bro? The nigga is trying to in, engage in a like real type of warfare, bro, between cities, man. He trying to start up real beefs and animosity between places. And me, meanwhile, after the reckless IG live where he FaceTimes him, he FaceTimes Lil Durk. Lil Durk and Keith have their issues on the sly, honestly. During the Tiger and Game beef, Lil, uh, you know, Chief Keith had posted something in agreement with Tiger, and Lil Durk always, you know, remembered that, and he was beefing with Keith for a little bit behind that, and was taking the Migos side in the Migos versus Keith beef. My whole point of all of this shit really is I'm bringing up all these beefs to say. Man, these black men can't get along, bro. Black men cannot get along for nothing. And I'm finna prove it to you right now. So, 6 9 is on IG Live with Lil Durk. They talking about the whole BDK shit in which, you know, 6 9 has said BDK. While um, videotaping a conversation in which a second conversation with Tato in which Tato is threatening to kill 6 9 he videotapes both of these conversations. The one, the first one, which went viral, I kill people, that shit. And then the second one where he says, I'm finna slide right now, shorty, drop your location. This nigga 6 9 is recording this shit. And at the end of the video, he say, BDK, BDK. And they end the call. So he on the phone with Lil Durk talking about it or whatever. So mind you, Lil Durk has signed an individual from Detroit named Snapdog. Snapdog, I guess they not on good terms or whatever. But Snapdog took offense to it and dropped a video today saying how that was some whole shit from Lil Durk. He talking to the CEO of his fucking label. He talking to his boss, bro. Or I guess formal boss because I guess he must not be OTF anymore. But regardless of it, it's like he's saying, why you jumping in Keith Beef? You doing some whole shit. You doing all this. And he said, Sick, you know, Lil Durk was saying 6 9 good with him. All around... That could lead to some Detroit-Chicago shit, which there has been instances of Detroit versus Chicago with the Rico Reckless and, you know, um, Snap Dog situation, uh, Smoke Campchino and Love Fo. It's a lot of, you know, tension, basically. You feel me? Between cities. And all of this could spiral because of this fucking pale Mexican with rainbow-colored hair with pedo allegations, pedo convictions, running around, having the support of the whole fucking weirdo outcast Mexican nation, you feel me, just, and whites, and a bunch of weirdo blacks, basically, and young 6 to 12 year olds who know nothing about real life, or just consequences of trolling, this could spiral out of control easily, easily, my nigga, honestly, it already has, with gunshots being fired, it's already spiraled out of control, you know what I'm saying, when shit like this goes on in, like, other cities, bro, niggas get hit with conspiracy charges and go to jail for 10, 12 years for conspiracy charges, my nigga, Niggas don't last doing shit like this, bro. Hot shit. Starting beats on the internet. Going on TM TMZ, claiming things and just, you know, having um indications of self conviction. AKA self incrimination through IG videos. Niggas is getting away with this shit now. I've never seen nothing like it. It it's not reality to me. That an individual is still walking here. Bro, this is going on six, seven months of this nigga trolling, bro. Four, five, six, seven months. You feel me? It's going on that long. We could even mention the trippy red shit. You feel me? Just crazy, bro. Crazy. Y'all remember when trippy red said he got jumped at the hotel? You feel me? In New York City. Billy's running town, or it was Billy's running with NYPD. I think they running with NYPD, bro. Or it could be a government concoction to make these rappers throw their fucking life away doing something stupid. I'm, I'm headed towards that route because it don't make no fucking sense. And for black people to be standing behind this individual, hey, you making your money from him, but, you know, I, I just don't understand it, bro. I just don't understand it. Treyway the new death row. Treyway the new police department. Gotta be, bro. Gotta be, my nigga. Y'all tell me if I'm wrong or not, bro. It just don't make sense. So I just want y'all thoughts on this. That being said, I'm going to like, comment, dislike, peace.